Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at all this snow from the front door because I didn't have it shut all the way. <laughs> the sun is coming out. Hey guys, and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. We are still working on our off grid easy DIY cabin. So as you know, we are gearing up to do a house build this spring. Yeah, I said spring because Eric has said that if by chance we can get stuff lined up ahead of time earlier than summer, we will start it earlier. So excited. is prying the trim off the front of the shed which uh, hopefully isn't pulling the whole thing apart but when they shimmed the door they didn't shim it correctly they just had two wedged in and actually the side wasn't shimmed at all it was just everything on this side so unfortunately he's got to take that off to be able to get in there So door shimming is very detailed stuff. Eric has lots of experience shimming doors. It's not something that I want to try to do. So for that reason, I called in his expertise to do it for me. Once Eric gets this in a, gets this in a place, I don't know if that deadbolt even ever fit. I don't think they ever cut it straight. Okay. Huh? So you you want me to go on the outside? No, I can. Okay. You just have to put them in the same spot. Right. So we're gonna meet in the middle, so to speak. So when I go through and spray foam it, it's gonna lock everything dimensionally in solid. So these doors will not move, even if we move the shed. Oh! That moved. I was just, it was falling in, so I just pushed it a little bit. I didn't know it was going to move that much. I see that. <laughs> you want me to pull these shims out down here? Mine's tight.
Oh. That whole edge seals up real nice. I don't see any daylight coming through that. You'll have to cut these off and then these boards will have to go back up on the edges. Oh, okay. So we had to pull those to off hard. to do the shims. Yeah. So, uh, you guys want to know something kind of funny? You probably won't find this very funny, but... Alright, so I've had this heater running the last couple of days and it's pretty much sat in that spot. Well, I'm looking down. <laughs> I'm like, huh. Wait, it looks like those nails are popping out. Wow! This whole line of nails is popping out. And they're all directly in the path of the heater. But I just find that funny. All right, so we have a whole stack of mail here that I'm gonna go through really quick. We have here, we have a forestry field helmet. So this is gonna be great for cutting the wood. So thank you so much, boat owner, for sending this. We also have a couple different sizes of torque wrenches. We had a smaller one, it's three eighths, and we have a half inch, which is great because if you remember, I accidentally over torqued the hay baler because the torque wrench that I was using, I didn't know it was actually broken. So thank you to Michael for that and some giant size screwdrivers as well. Oh, a nice little knife from Gord Baker. So we got a nice little knife. It's got serrated edge and a round point there. So very much, thank you. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, I have no idea who sent this. It says to Suzanne and Eric. It's a YouTube planner and journal. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Thank you. Okay, so here we have a Christmas donation CD. So this is Here We Go Through the Snow by Guy T. Wayman. And um, he's donating proceeds from the sales of this CD to a couple different charities. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put information on this CD and the video description with links to everything so that if you want to check out the CD and give it a quick listen and uh, help contribute to and help contribute to uh, both of these causes. The two causes are one is covering flight expenses for missionaries. The other is the Grain Bin Rescue Project that helps farm families that have had accidents um, in different areas. So he's uh, taking proceeds, 20% of the proceeds from this are going to both of those charities split equally between the two. So we have a Christmas card from William Dill. Thank you. We have a Christmas card from Mark's Motorsports and Family Channel. Thank you, Mark. And we have a letter from Joseph White, who's offering to help out with getting the cabinets put together on the new house. So we will definitely be giving you a call or email. Thanks guys. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch me take time out of my day. So this is how it comes. These are the directions right here. Firmly screw straw onto the valve stem. Ensure straw is fully seated on the valve stem to prevent leakage. And uh, press and release trigger. To restart, remove cured foam from tip. It doesn't actually even tell you to trim the end of it. And this one, obviously, you have to trim. And you're supposed to shake it, I guess, for like two minutes. Okay. Just for the record, we can't spin it this direction. It does not work. So we gotta spin it this way. Spinning. Oh, this one looks like it's latched. Look at that. That one actually did finally latch. The other one must have been defective. Okay, so now I have to cut the tip off from here. I'm not sure how much to cut. Ugh. But I, I guess that'll do, right? Shake it again. Already I'm having better feelings about this can. I just think the other one was defective, though. So something on it was defective. Yeah, see, this is why you need to come through here a couple different times, because I'm seeing more cracks that have popped out. And it just may be new, 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 new cracks every... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep, that stuff comes out a lot better than the other stuff. Wow. That's like frosting on a cake. Holy cow. Definitely different. Wow. Wowzy wow wow. 
That is such a difference. It's still snowing like really hard and it's I don't know like 1 30 it is not gonna stop until 4 <laughs> and I have not gone out to check my cabin yet <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a dustpan and a broom to sweep up all the snow in there all right there's a snow drift that's a big snow drift why's the dog get buried <laughs> All right, so it's been several hours since I've been out here. I started to kind of panic thinking that um, the entire inside of my shed might be filled with snow. And had I thought this through a little bit more, I probably should have been out here this morning doing this, but <sighs> you can see right now the front of that, there's a lot of snow on the front. Wow. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know where those boards went. I don't know what dad did with them. Gosh. Okay, because these have nails on them. Uh, there's one. Hold on, Daddy. I don't want you to step on this. At least you put them nail side down, but. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Oh, holy crap. Oh my gosh. Come on, pup. Oh my gosh. Look at all this snow from the front door because I didn't have it shut all the way. Um, actually, I think I'm going to have to have Eric fix this again. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. I wonder where that snow came from. That's interesting. Gosh, <laughs> shoot. Oh, that's not good. All that snow on the electrical stuff. I didn't even think about that. See, I brought a dustpan and a towel to stuff up there, but it probably should be stuffed right there. All right, well, let's go check up here. <laughs> it's not too bad. Honestly, it really isn't. Actually, if you look at it, it's all coming out from that ridge. The whole ridge is where it's coming from. Ha! Maybe. A lot of water. So I'm gonna finish cleaning up the snow. I'm gonna nail on those front trim boards and that'll be good for today. All right, so this one went on pretty good. Needs a little bit more nails, but that's okay. This one <laughs> ended up slightly crooked. Um, yeah, so I might end up pulling that off and redoing it later, but at least it's up and hopefully blocking some of the snow.
wait for the husband so he can come home from work. Let us snow down. I think we've gotten probably four to six inches, I'd say. It's hard to tell because it's been blowing and drifting. But so far, the T5's been handling it just fine. A little bit of issue with the float, but other than that, she's been good. Horses into the middle of the pasture to play in the snow a little bit. Of course, the dog thinks she wants to play too. What are you thinking? You gonna go roll? Protective stance. Hi. Hi, yeah. Are you gonna go roll in the snow? Daddy, don't get behind horse butt. Unless you want to be 10 feet in the air. You guys had some interesting ideas on why my spray foam didn't work well the number one reason actually was because it was cold so the cans had been left outside that had gotten really cold like teens so they definitely were cold so that was problem number two number one problem number two the nozzle itself this plastic piece was bad on the first can can number two piece of cake so I actually ended up taking the nozzle from can number two and putting it on can number one and finishing it off. Now you guys asked if I'd been using it upside down. Well, once it started getting low, I did realize that upside down made it work a lot better. But there was nothing in the directions to say to hold it upside down. This one says to hold it upside down. The other one didn't. This is Touch and Foam by DAP. This is all Myers carried. I just ran to Myers really quick. Grab another can. Um, this is Maxfill. I cannot find the doorway one to save my life. Everything out here is sold out. Like all the stores are just cleaned out. So this is all I can find. So I'm just gonna have to be careful with it. you guys been I hope you guys have been staying healthy that uh, your weather's been pretty good some of you guys have had some pretty rough weather I know um, a lot of you guys mentioned about the spray foam around the door you made me really nervous so let's see how our door fared uh oh nope it's just fine <laughs> are you coming in Look at your little snow snow face. Okay. Whoa! Oh my gosh, look at that. I did not expect it to keep expanding. Wow. Wow. That is news. That is news. Holy cow. Um, Eric brought up a point. He was saying that this might not expand a whole lot because it's so cold. Um, 
Yeah, so when I was filling this, it was only going in like maybe one to two inches max. And I was kind of nervous because I really would like it filled all the way up. It's a little, little bit hard to open, but I think that's just how it was when he shimmed it. She's sitting there guarding the porch. Look at her. She's not going to go anywhere unless she sees something that might be dangerous. <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure how long the battery's going to last. GoPros don't like the cold. But uh, once in a while, the weather's just right. Take a little time off to be a cool mom and take the kids sledding on the back of the side-by-side. -side. So, let's see what we got today.